The games of the 32nd Olympiad are now over. Tokyo 2020, taking place in 2021, lends the way to our next event in 2022 in February. Stay tuned for that. These are the closing ceremony results. There were two world records for athletes under the age of 20. 83 Olympic records in 21 of those 83 Olympic records were world records set in these Olympic Games in Tokyo. Beginning with our water sports, we see well done, uh, especially from the Chinese and Russians early in the artistic swimming and the diving events. Uh, China and Russia clearly dominating the field in those uh, and those disciplines. In freestyle swimming, Australia and the United States are by far the clear big winners of the freestyle swimming, and the stroke swimming isn't much different. And the United States, Australia, clearly up there. Sure, we see some other countries here and there as well. Great Britain, a notable one of those, but the United States and Australia clearly the uh, swimming dominant teams and we see that reflected here on the uh on the medleys and the relays uh as well and we see great britain the united states and australia clearly dominant again the occasional china or japan in there as well but lots of notable athletes doing very well from many countries um and it's clearly the united states versus australia as for surfing, uh, a very diverse crowd um, n between the men and the women. Uh, lots of countries taking home medals there. Japan taking home two of the surfing medals. The United States did fairly well in terms of volleyball, the women's beach volleyball, and the indoor volleyball for the women. The United States getting a medal in. Russia doing well in men's volleyball, both beach and indoor getting a silver medal, um, and so again, lots of teams doing well. Um, water polo, Hungary taking home two bronzes, the United States taking home a gold medal. Rowing um, is pretty pretty clear cut here. Australia and New Zealand doing very well. The Netherlands doing very well in these events as well, um, and, and so that's kind of how the rowing events went. The sailing events Sort of um, Great Britain dominated the, the sailing, uh, more or less. France did decently well, um, and so did some other countries. Uh, but not, nothing compared to Great Britain, really, in those sailing events. As for the canoeing events, um, it was pretty much a mixed bag, which was, of course, always nice to see. China did pretty well in those events. The kayaking events... Um, Hungary, again, putting up a strong performance in the kayaking sphere, um, and, and that brings out our water sports. As for the endurance sports, um, and Jamaica, of course, always doing, doing very well. Several gold medals there. The Bahamas getting a few gold medals. The United States, of course, getting their gold medals as well. The longer distance events, uh, the distance running, generally the African countries, doing well. We see Ethiopia, Uganda, Kenya, all uh, getting lots of medals for their countries in these events. Of course, the United States, Netherlands also doing very well in those longer distance events. The relays and the ultra distance walking events, Poland did well. The United States, uh, of course, swept the four by four for both the men and the women taking home those gold medals. Kenya did very well in the marathon road weight races, as, as we see, getting three medals, both of the golds there. Uh, in terms of the athlons, Great Britain was dominant, uh, winning the mixed triathlon, and winning and setting Olympic records in both the men's and women's pentathlon. Um, so clearly doing very well there. The jumping events, um, a, a, a pretty mixed bag. Uh, no repeat winners for the gold medals, um, which is notable. Of course, we have the split gold medal for the men's high jump, um, but lots of of crowd uh, here getting medals in that. The throwing events, uh, we see Sweden, one jump and one throwing gold medal there. Uh, Poland, 
the United States, China doing well in the throwing events or did well in the throwing events. The Netherlands, uh, Great Britain uh, performed very well in uh, the BMX and road cycling and all, all of those cycling events. The track cycling, um, Great Britain performed well in um, and the Netherlands performed well in and the several countries doing decent in those. The archery and pistol shooting events, South Korea clearly doing very well. Uh, Russia did very well as well. The rifle and shotgun events, the United States had a good streak there for a second. China uh, got a few medals as well, gold medals as well. And so that was that, of course. The standout San Marino getting their first medal in Olympic history, then their second, and then in another event, they got their third gold medal in Olympic history. We see in fencing here, um, it, Russia did did very well. In, um, in Taekwondo, we see that uh, Russia, again, did very well. Judo, dominated by Japan, uh, both for the men and for the women. As for karate, we see uh, a, a group of people. You know, we have places like Italy and France and Egypt and Iran and Serbia and um, all over all over the place with karate. Gold medalists, women's boxing, uh, much, much the same way. A, a diverse crowd. As for men's boxing, very similar. Cuba doing very, very well, getting three gold medalists in all those events. Um, so that is, of course, notable. Men's wrestling, again, Cuba did very well in these events. Russia did well. The United States did well. Uh, women's wrestling, Japan did, of course, very well once again, um, as they have done in many of these events that I've covered um, so far. China did very well in women's weightlifting. Men's weightlifting, also dominated by China. Men's gymnastics. Uh, China, Japan, both doing very well. Women's gymnastics also um, dominated by China. The United States doing very well in those events. Um, of course, Russia had some outstanding athletes as well in those. As for the ground sports, some of these new, some of these old, um, we see that Japan performed um, very well in several, or, or at least in the table tennis events. Uh, China did very well in in table tennis. As for tennis, it looks like uh, Croatia had a clear handle on the men's doubles, um, but no clear uh, winner overall. The Czech Republic did very well in the women's side of things, um, getting a gold and a silver. Uh, the badminton skateboarding events, Japan doing very well in skateboarding. Um, Brazil doing very well in skateboarding, and then probably the United States, the third best team in skateboarding overall. Badminton uh, is it, it China. I mean that that's that's how we put that. China doing amazingly well in badminton. The equestrian sports, Germany, uh, a notable team in that department, um, as well as probably Great Britain, uh, the United States. Put on a show as well um, in that softball and baseball. We see Japan, the United States, the clear top two in baseball and softball. No surprising, uh, no surprises there. The United States, the clear winner of basketball, um, winning three of the four types of basketball gold medals that you can get. Um, so that's obviously big. Soccer, um, it, you know, the United States didn't. Of course, get a gold medal, but they at least made the podium, and um, that's that's always good to see. Field hockey, rugby, golf. Uh, the golf, United States taking home both of the golds on that. Handball, France taking home both of the golds on that. Field hockey, um, you know, again, a, a decently geographically diverse group of winners on that, and in rugby, um, notably Southern Hemisphere tilted. We see two New Zealands, two Fijis, and an Argentina. And then five of the six medalists are from the Southern Hemisphere in rugby. So that um, is notable. And that actually wraps up all of the events 
of these Olympic Games. And of course, what we've all been waiting for, the medal count. Canada rounded out the top 20, uh, the, the bottom half of the top 20, with 24 total medals. And as for the next four teams, Great Britain took the four slot, falling just shy of Russia. Russia finished with 71 total medals, 20 golds, 28 silvers, and 23 bronzes. And they were bested by China with 88 total medals, 38 golds, 32 silvers, and 18 bronzes. But not to be outdone, not only in total medals, but also in terms of the number of gold medals and silver medals and bronze medals. The best team in Olympic history continues to reign dominant. The United States of America with 113 medals, 39 golds, 41 silvers, and 31 bronze. The Olympic champions of the 32nd Olympiad.